as well to the evidence that you would provide to back to your campuses as we go through that particular process. And we've done some changes in the past. We always had the film list and the bibliography listed in the honors program itself. We've shifted that now to a website presence. Why? Well, because this is the democratization of information. So the, the society has tried, decided to try some changes. If you've paid attention, you know that the, the chapter or the international office or candidate forums, they weren't filmed here and they aren't being shown just in the hotel. They were filmed a month ago and have been live streaming video or been streaming video for over a month. It makes it timely, it makes it interactive, it makes it important. Same thing now with the film and website list. We've looked at it in the past and said, you know, that's been one of the weak points where it's been a little bit static because it's hard to get an update out. We didn't want to have to print off a paper update to everything. Now we can update it more, re more readily. We've got something available for you. And y'all are all used to working on the internet anyway, so you're used to going out to these websites. I do foresee a day when we quit publishing a hard copy of the Honor Study Topic Guide that the whole thing is going to be a PDF file out on the internet. If you want a hard copy, you can print it out. Uh, but the whole thing's going to be much more interactive there on the, the website for you. And of course, <coughs> our historians wouldn't make it by without putting anything in by Teddy Roosevelt, because Teddy Roosevelt's relevant to everything in the world. Uh, but his comment on scholarship, and this is, this is a very true one, that scholarship does a, is of worth chiefly when it's productive, when the scholar not merely receives or acquires, but gives. All right? 